All right. We are really close to starting my Zoom kids. Uh, ben, uh, oh, Isaac has his picture on page 50. I'm going to check that out in just a second. That's really cool. Let me get my Instagram going here. Let me go. Let me close that up. Go to plus. Go to live. Go to that. Checking my connection. So I'm live on Facebook and YouTube, which is really cool. And I'm about to be live on Instagram. Trying to, you know what? I'm going to try to get this close to my, my, myself so I can, you can see me better. And that way you can hear me better too if I get this. All right, that's kind of cool. Well, I'm, well, hi, Instagram. Uh, glad you're with us today. And hi, Facebook. Um, hi, YouTube. Hi, Zoom. All right, so I'm looking at the comments on Zoom, and it looks like I, uh, Godzilla Boy is on page 107, so we're going to check this out. All right, so Godzilla Boy is on page 107, so let me, uh, hold on, we'll change the view here. All right, so let's look for Godzilla Boy. Uh, is that all on page 107? Nope. Where are you? Uh. Oh, he likes 107 a lot. That's what uh, uh, um, uh, Tiki likes that page. But Tiki, I know I have your picture in here somewhere. Isaac is at page 55. He, let's check 55. Let me check 55 here. There's 55. Let's see Isaac. Where's Isaac here? Let's see. There's Dace. I see Dace. There's all these students here. Isaac, where are you? Isaac. Is that you right there? Oh, that's that's uh, no, that's Ben. Is that Ben or Isaac? I forgot. I'm sorry, Isaac. <laughs> All right, there's Isaac. All right, and then uh, you're not in there, Godzilla boy. Boo hoo! But there's Days from England. See, Dave, are you in here? Are you in the book? Oh, Dave did, did, didn't make. There's uh, there's there's Robbie. Robbie's here. There's Robbie. Look at you can tell by his million uh, megawatt smile. He's like the happiest kid along with uh, Una. Uh, uh, Una. And we got a lot. And there's um, there's a lot of you, a lot of you guys there. There's there's uh, there's Fatima. All right, guys. So uh, we're gonna do. We're starting here today. This is uh, Mighty Monday. So this is open to all my students at Draw3D.com. And for all of you guys out in the Facebook world, this is our last couple of these, um, these uh, mighty Mondays. Um, I'll still be doing um, little lives here and there, but most of the time I'm going to be spent for the next three months working on my virtual summer camps, which is really cool. And uh, if you are watching this and you guys uh, enjoy the drawing lesson, you can go to uh, here's here's the fifty percent off code. Uh, Kistler, sorry about my nails. Look, I've been peeling oranges. I always, in the morning, so I come on and my nails are all orange. It looks really weird. Sorry about that. Um, there's the, if you choose a one-year membership, use that 50% off code. It's a wonderful Draw 3D website. All right, so we're going to do some drawings today. We're going to do some drawings. We're going to uh, uh, do uh, open up the book. user. And by the way, you can get this book. You go to my website at the bottom of the paper right there. Or if you're on my Zoom class, go to my website to order it. I will autograph it. You choose any of the books, any books at all that you choose on my website, I will autograph. Be, be sure people are sending me an order and they're not uh, depicting, they're not uh, are, are clearly specifying who I'm supposed to autograph the book to. So make sure that you, you tell me if you do buy a book, okay? So it's, it's $20 plus shipping and autograph it. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna do page nine. I want to draw this uh, marshmallow on stilts right here, and then I want to draw from page ten. I want to do a really cool uh, the key key the key the unlock your door to your imagination. We're gonna draw a cool keyhole, and then on page eleven, I want to draw a version of that house from flat to three D. Okay, so that's gonna be our lesson today uh, from our book. So we're gonna start with the marshmallow 
And I'm going to, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I want to see some of the Facebook comments. So just a second here. I forgot to, to get all this turned on for Facebook so I can see your comments, Facebook. Let's see. I want to comment on Facebook, so I'll put all these. I'll put all these up here. I just did a program for my library on Saturday, so I, I'm a little bit. My all my stuff is all spread out everywhere. All right, I got to open up my Facebook page because I don't see any comments. I see Instagram. Uh, hey, William Beatty's on page one fifty two. Let's see one fifty two. Let's see, 152, page 152. Oh, he likes this page right here. He likes the T-Rex. He likes that, that that guy right there. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Uh, three, seven. Uh, I'm just, there I am telling you my pen code. Because I love you guys. I trust you guys. Or because I'm old and I forget that I'm talking out loud. Draw squad. Oh, look at uh, one of uh, uh, philosopher on Instagram. <clears throat> she watched. She watched the draw squad. This is the book that she. That that's the, the books and the videos that she watches. Draw squad. Thank you for that. All right, let's go to uh, Facebook. I want to see these comments. I am gonna draw you guys. <laughs> It takes me so long to get all organized. You guys are so patient. You log in, you know, half hour goes by and we just talk. We just ramble. I just ramble. Talk, talk, talk. Where's our drawing lesson? All right. I keep on saying, okay, just a minute, just a minute. But then I, well, I want to do one more thing. All right, let me see here. Let's see the comments here. All right. I just want to, I want to get rid of something on there. All right. Uh, oh, look at Jason Long just found me in 30 years. Well, thank you, Jason. He remembers. Jason remembers this show right here from the the Secret City. Isn't that fun? He remembers that from 30 years ago. And in fact, uh, if I, I want to show you guys something really cool, tell me what you think of this, you guys. Check this out. I got a... Um, here, hold on here. I'm going to show you something. Look at this piece of art. Look at this piece of art right here. This was uh, created by Michael Colnerno, and it's from the, the Secret City days. I don't know if you can see it here, but this uh, I I I I've sold sold out of the first batch of these. Can you guys see that? I'm going to see if I can zoom in on that. Can you see that? It's with the reflection. And uh, sorry about the reflection. There's Mr. Roger. It's Mount Rushmore. There's Mr. Rogers, there's LeVar Burton from Reading Rainbow, Commander Mark, that's me from the Secret City Little Flying Saucer, and here's Bob Ross, and Michael Conero, Conero created that. Isn't that wonderful? And uh, he donated uh, many, many of these and then uh, to our nonprofit, which is really cool. And then we, 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 so we went through that first batch, and now we have them uh, for sale on my website at markkistler.com. And if you do order one, please, please, please be sure to tell me uh, who to autograph it to, because I'm having uh, having to send emails back saying, "Hey, hello, thank you for your order. Who do you want me to autograph it to?" So make sure that you let me know who I should autograph it to. Okay. All right. I thought I'd share that for you. Isn't that neat? Do you love that? Very cool. All right. Now, uh, thank you for uh, watching that on Facebook. Uh, uh, well, Jason, well, thank you for saying that about on the about the Route Mushmore. Sandy Seraph says she remembers me uh, from Secret City. Well, thank you, Sandy. Do I go by? No, I don't go by Commander Mark anymore. I go by Dad <laughs> or Grandpa, Dad or Grandpa, uh, or Mister Mark if you're in my class. Uh. And then William Beatty say that he remembers uh, teaching. Uh, he did assemblies, and he brought me in to do an assembly 17 years ago. And he said oh, mine was the most popular assembly. Wow, thank you. That's really cool. There's a little uh, there's a little testimonial for 
for uh, anybody who wants to do wants to book an assembly. I do a lot of virtual assemblies nowadays. All right, so can we? We're going to get to work now. I finally I got Facebook going. Thank you. That's where I am. Actually, you guys have been waiting so long on Zoom. You're like, okay, you're 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 like falling asleep. <laughs> you guys are you guys are amazing. I love you guys. I love my Zoom kids. I love my Zoom family. All right, this is the lesson that I did for the library. You can look at my uh, Facebook. I have a link to this hour-long uh, special. It was really cool. That was with the uh, library. This is with the Houston County Public. I'm going to write that on the back. So Houston County Public Library. And this was on 5-1-21. I got to see. I got to mark it so I can... I got to send them the link for that, right? All right. I got to remember to do that. There's my table. Hey, Dace in England. All right, on this one, I'm going to put a dot in the middle. And we're going to do four squares. Remember, don't worry, don't stress. It doesn't have to be perfect. It does not have to be perfect. Just do the best you can. Stress is on the bus. That's when I put up my... I put up my stresses on the bus symbol here. Where is it? Where's my stresses on the bus puppet? There it is. No stress, you guys. Stress is on the bus. Beep, 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 beep. Stress is on the bus. Thumbs up, you guys. Yeah. Thumbs up. Yeah. Take your finger. Push the tip of your nose. Push the tip of your nose. Push your genius button there. Push your genius button. All right, so now we have our four squares. And on this one, I want to draw this marshmallow walk. And so I'm going to have the, I'm going to draw the marshmallow in first, and then I'll put the stilt. So I'm going to have the marshmallow kind of slanting forward. So I'm going to draw, draw this two dots, and I'm going to draw this four shortened circle, squish and distort. Remember, that's what's most important, squish and distort. And I'm going to kind of slant this, this marshmallow back. And he's going to be walking on these stilts here. So he's he's leaning, see? So I'm, I'm leaning the marshmallow back, curve the bottom, that's contour, curve the bottom. And then I'm going to have, the, he's going to be walking on stilts, so I'm going to draw the two stilts. So I'm going to draw one stilt right here. So this will be one stilt right here. He's, this one still is vertical. And the other stilt is going to be taking a step, so I'm going to put make this, this stilt bending out back over here. You see what I'm doing? So it's going to be... I'm gonna I'm gonna make him make him walk and so I, I block it in here. All right, so this first stilt, I'll put a four shortened circle, and I'll go ahead and draw that stilt. Mine's look at my stilt's all wobbly and bent. It's all right. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry about it. Just do, and then we'll erase it and clean it up. It's gonna look great. It's gonna be great. I promise. And this stilt's gonna be uh, tilting. It's gonna be. Uh, I'll put a four shortened circle there. And then this stilt is taking a step. It's it's kind of up in the air over here. I'm going to put a little shadow down here. See, he's taking a step. So I'm going to put the shadow going a little bit slanted, a little bit uphill in direction northeast. Put a little shadow so he's taking a step. And then I'll use my eraser. We know that this stilt is going to be in front. So I'm going to erase all these extra lines. And this stilt... The body will be blocking this stilt, so I'm going to erase all my extra lines here. Erase, erase, erase. And then I'll use my handy tool. So we're going to be a marshmallow walking on stilts. So we're going to do a couple of drawings from our drawing book. So then I'm going to draw the near eye right here. That's placement, right? Near, near eyes are larger, near things are closer. And then I'll put the other eye back behind here. And then there's the eyes. And then, now back here, watch this. I'm going to draw the, I'm going to draw the, his arm. See what I'm doing here? I'm going to, I'm going to zoom this in so you can see my detail I'm working on. Then I'm going to put his hand, his hand's gripping on here. So I'm going to put the thumb behind here and then put his fingers gripping on here. See, he's really holding on to that. He's really holding on to that. He's really holding on to that. And ha! Uh, I got an H E B here. Uh, hey, uh, hi! I'll, I'll call you back. Thank you for thank you uh, for letting me know. Thank you. 
Uh, I got my, I'm getting my prescription. So, right, that's the joy of doing live. You get to hear me taking a call from the pres from the pharmacy. Isn't that funny? Uh, I'm getting a chat on the Zoom. What is this? Someone sending me a chat on the Zoom. Let's see. I'm getting phone calls. I'm getting chats. Let's see. I have that. Robbie has that book. Ben has that book. My dad watched The Secret City and Imagination Station. That's cool, guys. Thank you for sharing that. So I'm going to put the other arm. So his other arm's back here. And his other arm, look, I'm going to put his elbow back here. His other arm's holding on to, to, to that. Um, and he's, here, I'm going to bend this here. I think, I think I'm going to make the, um, the back arms, you can barely see it back here. So this guy, I'm going to have his thumb, and then I'll put his fingers there. As you can see, it. You see he's holding on back there. I'm not pleased with that. I'm not pleased with that. So let's see if I can make that a little more. Um, I can, you can barely see it. So I just got to draw the thumb. Now he's reaching behind here, so he'll you'll see the thumb. I think that's about all you're gonna see. There we go. You see a little bit of his thumb back there. Now, I just love we're just figuring this out as we go. This is cool. And he's moving. Now I'm gonna darken in the stilt. Darken in the stilt goes behind there. I'm gonna put some shading on the stilt. I'm shading opposite the light. And then, now for his feet, I'm going to have this foot, this leg coming straight down here, and his, this foot's going to be standing on this peg, a little foot rest right there. Okay, so then take your eraser, and we'll kind of clean that up. Now the other foot, you'll see the other foot, you can see the uh, his knee coming up over here. And then he's he's going to be standing on a peg on the other side, so you can see his foot on the other side. And there's that peg. There's the other peg there, and he's he's taking one big step. Isn't that fun? A marshmallow on stilts. And he's he's walking, and I'll darken in. All my lines, kind of like inking in here. Isn't that fun? Uh, let's see. I'm going to start waving on my Instagram, folks. Hello, hello, uh, Gillard. Hello, Gray. Uh, hello, MM. Uh, hello, uh, What's a Lot. Hello, Anino. Look at all these Instagrams. Hello, Philosopher. Look at all my cool. Hello, uh, uh, STJ, hello Re Rebel, and look at there's uh, uh Percy. Hi Percy, hello Arch. Look at all these. Thank you so much for coming in and drawing with us. Uh, well thank you. Well thanks philosopher. You're you're awesome. All right, so this is the 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 marshmallow taking a, a little stroll on his on his uh. Stilts. Everybody should have a pair of stilts, right? I actually never learned how to draw on stilts. I never learned. I never learned how to walk on stilts, and, and definitely never learned how to draw on stilts. I crack myself up sometimes with my banter. Okay, shade. I'm shading opposite here. I want to shade this marshmallow under the arm. I'm going to put a shadow right here. See the shadow. There's a shadow on the side here. See, he's taking a walk. You can see the shadow of the arm. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, darkness under the, around the eyes. And then, now, all the way down this, the left side of this stilt. I'm going to take my, I love the details. Let's put all these details here, guys. Isn't this nice? Let's put all these details down here. Shade the left side opposite the light. Now, 
Mario, my son, is doing something really cool. We have this store that we love. We love, love, love. It's it's a store called Vacuums of America. And from starting when Mar like ten years ago, um, when none of the other vacuum stores would let Mario test out vacuums because he was young and his special abilities, um, they opened their they they spent hours opening boxes of vacuums and backpack vacuums and let Mario check them out. And so we started going there every week for ten years, and then they. They trained him as an apprentice. He started working there like a couple days a week, and he got high school credit for it. And it was so cool. Well, they're having a really, really crisis point. They've navigated the COVID so well for the past year, but right now they're uh, they're having a really, really hard time, um, and they need uh, they need they need to stay open and they need to pay these bills. And so we started a GoFundMe, and. If you guys would go, please, if you would visit, uh, it's called, It's the title is Help Mario. Would you type, write this down, look it on GoFundMe, Help Mario Save. I know there's millions of businesses out there in need of help. This business is special to our heart. They're just, we just love them. They're family to us, and they're, they've helped Mario so much, give him a sense of purpose and joy in his life. And if they closed, it just... It it just um, uh, it's it it it's just so uh, heartbreaking that they're that close to having to close their doors after being business for decades. So help Mario save vacuums of America. Uh, if you got ten bucks, twenty bucks, please uh, go to GoFundMe Vacuums of America and help us out. We really, really appreciate helping us save it. Mario. Mario put in a thousand dollars of his hard earned money to. Uh, help them uh, get through this crisis point. And I did the same, and you'll see that on the on the GoFundMe. So if you guys would go to GoFundMe um, and help Mario in his campaign to help, help Mario save Vacuums of America, check that out. It's uh, uh, heartwarming that we have, so we have over 30 people donating. We've raised almost $4,000. They need to have, uh, they need to raise 9,700 by the 10th. And so the clock is ticking. So thank you, thank you guys, thank you for helping us on that. Uh, help Mario save Vacuums of America. Go find me. All right. So now, now we're gonna uh, go on to another drawing. Since we did this, this these are drawings from You Can Draw in Thirty Second Book, and we did the the, the and this was on the the what's inside. This is the lessons that are inside that you guys practice. Now, what's important is when you go and when you go to a lesson. Let's say you go to. The tube lesson here on page 83. There's a lot more than just drawing that tube. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You go to page 83, right? You go to page 83. And of course, this is the one of the bloopers, right? I have, of course, I picked up one of my blooper books. Um, the, the first edition, we got a thousand books that are missing that page. And so um, we print, I, I have them printed, and people can buy blooper books. And let me, is this a blooper book too? Page eighty-three. Uh, I think I think it is okay. This is good. All right. So, uh, if you make sure you specify when you order the book, if you want the blooper book or if you want a regular print book. All right. So let's go. This is a regular lesson. Page eighty-three of the tube. So I give the, the lessons broken into four components. You learn the tube, right? And then, then we deconstruct. We take the tube and I deconstruct it. And I explain to you all my philosophy and all the science behind deconstructing the tube. And I give you examples, pop out examples. I'm going to zoom out so you can see what I'm talking about here. And then I start giving you lots of variations. You see, lots of variations on the tube. And we go into embellishments. Uh, and then I go into some bonus lessons about the tube. Here I draw the pretzel. I show you how to draw that pretzel. It's really cool. And then uh, we go into uh, more bonus lessons. I saw show you how every one of the lessons has. There's another bonus lesson showing you how to draw the the uh, the uh, pipe city. And then we have um, uh, look at this. More variations down here. Different different types of tube cities. And then, this is all the same lesson, you guys. It's, every lesson has all these components. And then we go to the uh, 
purple pencil skill level. There's 99 of these club levels. And what you do is you do the tube, and then you two, do the tube variation, tube variation, 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 variation. And there's a time limit for each of these. And you work your way up, and you, tr you check off the times once you get these challenges. And then you go to the back of the book. You go to the back of the book here. And you mark off, like for the, we're doing the tube. So this is right here, number six. And once you finish all those, you put the date and you check it off. And you work your way through. There's 99 of these pencil power levels. And that's the, we're still not done with the lesson. We're still Each lesson might take you a week or two, okay? Uh, now look at this. The, this goes into, see this? Look at, look at the, uh, see the tube, the embellishments? Look at all these tube embellishments. It goes pages and pages of embellishments, to pages. And then I put a page of all the Zoom, uh, all the Zoom kids here, uh, the you guys. I put you guys in there in the book, okay? Isn't that wonderful? All right. So, uh, so we're going to go on this one. We're going to do page 10. We're going to, this is one, Mario autographed that one. He drew a picture. We'll send it out to somebody. Now, this is page 10. We're going to draw that doorknob. We're going to draw a really cool doorknob here. Now, I got uh, a nice letter here from Jason saying he, uh, uh, he's just a nice message. Thank you, Jason, for your nice. Hi, Roxanne. Hello, Rox, Rox, hey, Roxkin, Roxkin on uh, Facebook. Hi, guys. So let's draw that doorknob. All right, so I'm going to put two dots. We're going to draw a little doorknob piece here. Put your finger in the middle. Put a dot above and below your finger. And then I'm going to zoom these in so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Let's zoom this one in here. And I'm going to draw a four short and square. We're going to draw this really cool doorknob. And come now this one, look at vertical here. The, the door, this will unlock the door of your imagination. Isn't that a wonderful idea? Take your finger, everybody. Take your finger and say, aha. Take your finger and say, aha, look, we have more people to wave to on Instagram. Hello, Adrian. Hello, Kevin. Hello. Hey, and please uh, follow me on Instagram and on YouTube and like my page and all that good stuff. Apparently, that's really important to get you guys to follow on Instagram and YouTube and uh, Facebook and like, do all those likes and stuff. You know, we live in the world of, oh, no, I didn't get enough people clicking a button with a heart and tell me they love me. Oh, no. Oh, no, I need more likes, which I do. All right, so thank you for liking or commenting. And, and oh, and then share. Share the link, too. Let's get, let's, get, let's get a million artists drawing with me. Let's get a million people drawing with me to spread that joy. Let's spread the joy of creativity. Drawing is the is the key. The key. We're gonna draw the keyhole to creativity and imagination. Learn to draw, and then you'll be happy for the rest of your life. <laughs> How's that? Learn to draw, and you're gonna be just the happiest, most successful, amazing person on the whole planet. All because uh, you're drawing. Yay! 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 Here, I'm gonna put this on different cameras. There's that camera. Yay! And then there's this camera. One camera. One. Camera two, camera three. Yay! You guys are so cool. Look at you guys are cooler. You are cooler than than parachuting penguins. You are cooler than parachuting penguins. You guys are you guys are even cooler than a than a flying pegasus. You guys are even cooler than a flying pegasus. You guys are almost as cool as a whole giant family of marshmallows. You're almost as cool. Not quite as cool, but almost as cool. You're getting there. You guys are cooler than a a, a hungry T-Rex. You guys, I'm going to give you everybody a big hug. Big, big squirrel hug. Big ninja hug. Now, remember, 630 tonight, I'll be back on my Zoom. I don't know if I'll be back on YouTube or Facebook. We'll just see how, how my technology is doing here. You guys are my cool koala family. So you guys are cool. You guys are cool. So, but tonight at six thirty, um, I promise that I'll be on. Uh, unlike this morning when I thought that I was going on at eleven and it was noon central. What happened to that hour? I went into some kind of time warp. 
Isn't that crazy? I thought it was 11 o'clock and all of a sudden it was 10 minutes to noon. I was like, wait, you mean I missed the entire class? Isn't that crazy? So you guys waited an hour for me? I thought you were waiting like 10, 12 minutes. Robbie's not in your head. You waited for an hour? You guys are amazing. Seriously? Well, bless you. I love you guys. I, you know what? All I can, I don't, you know, I have no excuse. I can, I can say I'm old, but that isn't, that isn't, uh, that's kind of a lame excuse because every, there's a lot of other people who remember the right time. Like Dave's older than me, right, Dave? Dave, how old are you? I'm 57. Are you older than me? Or, you know, you look younger. You got it. You must be, you got to be 50 though. Oh, you know what? If you're 38, I'm going to be really embarrassed. No, put it in the chat. Are you 44? Uh, okay. Yeah, I can see you're 44. Yep. You don't have enough gray. You're, you, you have that handsome dark beard. You see? All right. Hi, Dace. I'm glad Dace is here from England. Dace, how old are you? We have, I love to get the adults in the I know it's like, oh, never ask people how old they are. Why not? We earned every year, man. We worked hard to get to our age. Dace, what's your age? 35. You little youngster. You little you little kidlet. You little all right. Put it put a dot here. Now, angle. Remember our drawing direction compass. Remember the drawing direction compass. And this is in the back of the book. We're going to use this chart, the drawing direction compass, in the back of the book. I'm going to turn to it. This is an important right here. The drawing direction compass. And we're going to use these directions here, right, to help us draw in 3D. See that compass? That's what we're going to use, okay? So I'll put that back up there. So I'm going to come down here in directions. Um, see, I'm using the line above in direction southwest, and then I'm going to draw the, the doorknob. All right, isn't that cool, little kooky keyhole? Shameless plug for my summer art camps, you guys. If you like drawing with me with my scattered brain, look, squirrel, you can join me for 14 weeks of my fun, not always scattered drawing lessons, different themes. Go to my website at markkessler.com and check for that. Um, we're winding down. I'm going to put this cool keyhole. I'm going to draw a, a line here. I'm going to draw just some guidelines going up in that direction. And then I'm going to put some kind of a, a fun keyhole. I think this keyhole is going to be an arch on top. And then it'll be a vertical line. And then, then I'll put this. Is, see, this is going to be a really funky keyhole. This is the, the, this is the lock to your creativity i think i'm going to put uh i'll put a this really it look at this and i'll put this one and then oh this will be cool now watch this this goes out all right so that's our keyhole isn't that a funky keyhole now the the crazy thing is going to be putting the thickness now notice how it's not it's not perfect i didn't make it perfect it's it's lopsided no stress you guys stress is on the bus Someone type in beep, 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 beep. Someone type in beep, beep, beep. Hey, you waved at Kevin. That's right. I waved at Kevin. There's Juliana. I love your name, Juliana. What a beautiful name. And then I have Gumby Greg. Hi, Gumby Greg. What a beautiful name, Gumby Greg. <laughs> what a beautiful name. Here, take your finger. Push the tip of your nose. Push your genius button. Push the take your finger. Give me a yippee. Give me a yippee. Yahoo. Here, take your finger. Give me a yeah. Aha. Aha. Uh, ben, Godzilla boy, get your finger. Say aha. Here, I'm watching you guys. Oh, yeah. I got my eye on you. I'm watching you guys. All right, now we got to put the thickness here. Let's erase these extra lines. I'm going to put a contour line, so I'm going to darken this in. I'm going to put a little gasket where it's attached to the to the, to the the doorknob there. All right, now we got to put the thickness. Wherever you see, see, I'm going to go up here in direction northwest thickness. I'm going to see the thickness coming down here, northwest. Look at that. There's a little edge, edgy, right? Here, I'll zoom that in so maybe you can see it better, what I'm doing. I'm going to zoom this in so you can see this maybe a little bit better. A little bit better. See, I put a little edge there, thickness. See, it goes down. I think I'll see 
I think I'll cheat that in just a bit. But those thickness, see that? Isn't that cool? And then you see the bottom thickness? See what I did? So inside here, you see what I did? You put those little thicknesses. It's a little tricky. You can watch this uh, recorded, you guys, on Zoom. This on Facebook and on YouTube. So you can you can see if you want to see a little more detail on how I put the little thicknesses on that keyhole. The the important part is when you put you put the thickness, use your drawing direction compass, and then you darken in behind there, and it really helps that keyhole recess into the background. Okay. All right, isn't that cool? Now I'll put some extra things. I'm going to do some extra little details. On this one, I'm going to put some some uh, garnishments on here. Watch this. I'm going to put a, a like a little attached decoration on the side. A little, and I'll put one on the bottom here too. Watch this. I'll put another one down here on the bottom. Put these little attachments on the side. Isn't that cool? Do you love it? And I think I'll move that out just a bit. Do you love it? And then here, uh, uh, attach to the door. Watch this. This is going to be one of the brackets that holds it to the wall. I'm going to put a couple of these brackets using. See, I'm using direction southwest and southeast. And I'll, and I'll draw two of these little brackets. See that? And that attaches. So then when I shade it, let's take our... I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to clean this up here. Now, uh, thank you guys for helping me out with the Help Mario's Help Save America. Go to GoFundMe, type in Help Save America. And remember, if you want to sign up for my summer art camps, there's 14 weeks. Go to my website at markkissler.com to sign up for my virtual summer camp. We'd love to have you guys. Love to have you. If you want to get, if you want to get a copy of my book, uh, go to You Can Draw in 30 Seconds. Uh, it's not on Amazon.com. It's on my website at markkissler.com. And you guys can get any, you get any of my books. And any book you order from my website, I'll be sure to autograph it for you, okay? So I hope you guys do that. And uh, also, I wanted to, for those of you just joining me, I want you to check this out. Look at Look at this wonderful piece of art that was created by... Um, Michael Colerno, and it's uh, Mount Rushmore with the 1980s PBS icons, and there's Mr. Rogers, uh, there's uh, uh, there's our favorite neighbor, Mr. Rogers, there's our favorite uh, reading coach, LeVar Burton, Reading Rainbow, and there's our favorite artist from PBS, Commander Mark Me. And there's Bob Ross, everybody's favorite painters. Well, this is this is available at my website now, and I autograph it for you guys. So check out that; it's really cool. It's on my website. Thanks for your, for your support, for uh, and your um, your business. That's just that's, we appreciate it so 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 very much. Uh, my Mario and I do. Let's draw the now back here. Here, put the shading. Put the shading. Put the shading. Put the shading. I'm loving making this 3D. I'm loving it. Love it, love it, love it. Connect it. Looking cool. Now I'm going to shade over here. Look, it's dark and gets lighter. And it's dark here and it gets lighter. And shade down here. And then shade down here. And I'm going to put a shadow. See, so cast a shadow down here. Cast that shadow. Do you love it, love it, love it? Isn't that neat? All right. I'm going to get light as it comes up. See, it's dark down here. All right, that's wonderful. Well, look at that. 
And uh, I love it. Look at this. I was going to do three drawings. It kind of ran out of room. So um, let's draw. I was going to do a house, but I'm going to do uh, something that will fit in this space here. I'm going to do We have a few more minutes. You guys, I'm gonna, on Zoom, you guys, give me some ideas. What could I draw that would fit in this space right here? Uh, what should I draw? Maybe I'll put something right. I'm going to put something right here in the middle. Here. You know, I have an idea here. Uh, this is a wall, right? So we can't. I want to do a window. Uh, here, this is what I'll do. I'll, I'll put a window. I kind of have to fit it in here. I'm going to put a window. See, I'm, I'm. this is cool. All right. So erase this. I'm going to put a penguin. I'm going to draw a penguin popping out of a little window right here. So we'll draw, We'll block it in. That's going to be the window, the, the, the window frame. This will be really cool. All right. So now... Now I'm going to put this penguin. Here's a penguin popping out of the window. I just like filling in. We have a little extra time, so we'll fill up our drawing. So I'm going to draw this penguin, and then I'm going to have the, the penguin's wing. I'm going to have the penguin kind of, look at, he's, he's reaching out. He's reaching out of the, look at, there's, there's the penguin's wings here. He's looking out, and then here's the penguin's beak. And there he is. And now I'm going to, I think I'll move his wing over just a bit more. That's what I'm going to do on this one since his body's here. Look at this. I'm going to have his wing coming back. There we go. That makes more sense. You see that? I'll have that wing back behind his body. You see, I still try to, try to figure it out and uh, use my dusting brush. I use my eraser, use my eraser to erase and clean up. You got to mold it and shape it like it's a big hunk of clay. Hey, there's Stuart Wilson. Join us on Instagram. There's Immortals. Uh, join us on Instagram. I think I've said hi to everybody. And Facebook. Thank you, Facebook. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's go. Let's close that right there. This is wonderful. Jason, thank you, Jason Long. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, look at that. I just got an order from my book on my... Thank you guys for ordering my book. Thank you. Be sure that you put in who you want me to autograph it to. Even if you just buy the $20 version of this book, be sure to make... I know it's you, I, the autograph is usually $50. I'm doing it just just by the book and I'll autograph it. Just make sure you uh, make a note about it, okay? Make a note who you want me to autograph the book to. And plus, I'm sending everybody bonus art prints. Everybody who buys my book or who buys the Mount Rushmore painting uh, or who buys the uh, any of my products, you guys are going to get some autograph prints, okay? All right, I'm going to darken. Look at what I'm doing. I'm darkening the penguin. I'm going to put some, some hair coming out here. Then I'll go in there and I'll darken in that background. This was such a fun hour of pencil power. Thank you guys for joining me and being so patient uh, for my live. I'll be coming back again tonight at 6.30. Okay. Thank you, Draw 3D members. Oh, Ben, he, uh, look at that. Um, ben wants a snake. We can add it. You guys want to add a snake? We can add a snake. Here, let's see where uh, go to. We'll go back to the book. This is this is our this is our uh, uh, our idea source here. Let's find the snake in the book. You find it. So put the page up there, Ben. Find there's tons of tons of tube snakes in here. Look at these. There's lots of. Let's find in the book, find your favorite. There's the arches. There's just all kinds of stuff. You guys want to put like the caterpillar. Oh, that's a cool little car here. Let's see what I, I'm sure it'd be in the tubes. Look at all these. These are cool pencils, pencil drawings. And I'm sure it's in the, the tubes, right? Let's see. I'm looking for the, let's see. Now this is, it. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. Not a snake, but it's a cool tube creature. You guys want to do a tube creature? All right. 
We'll do a tube creature. Why not? A snake tube creature down here real quick. So I'll, I'll use the drawing direction compass. Let's, I'll show you, let's very lightly put a box. Put two dots down here. Very light. I'll show you how we, 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 we use these drawing direction compasses. We use this drawing direction compass. Put your finger in the middle. Put a dot above and below your finger. Draw the light foreshortened square. We're just going to block. It's going to be a very simple little tube snake. So we're going to use the, the directions of this box here to draw the snake. Now watch this. So I'm going to draw the snake. The snake's going to be this long snake, and it's going to be bending along the bottom. See, I'm going to use this direction. So this will be the snake's face, and it's going to, watch this, it's going to turn direction, turn direction, and then I'm going to have it again back here. You see what I'm doing? It looks like a Band-Aid right now, but I'll draw the near eye, and the far is overlapping, and I'll put some t some little fur. But look, I'm using that box as my guideline. See that? So there's our snake, and then it changes direction here. See, I'm going to have that this, this snake's going in this direction, right? And then it changes directions. You see that? See what I'm doing here? I'm going to put the, I'm using that box as my, as my direction guide. And then I'm going to have the snake change direction again. And then it changes direction again. And then it changes direction again. And then it changes direction again. And then look at that. It goes way into the back back there. So I'm going to put add this fur. I'm going to add all this fur here. Let's see, we're really filling up this page, aren't we? I'm going to add this fur using all these directions. Direction northeast, southwest. Hey, we have a chef, a chef on the Instagram. Hello, chef. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us on YouTube. Hello. Hey, there's Lance. Awesome. Great to see you guys on Facebook. Hey, share share the links. If you like these little drawing lessons, would you share them with your group? Would you guys share them? I want to see if I can't get a couple thousand viewers now that I've got the smitten with the competitive bug of seeing who, how many views can you get? How many likes can you get? I don't know why it's important, but it seems like it'd be cool, right, to get a 1,000. So here, shade down here. So thanks for liking. Thanks for sharing it on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, subscribe, I guess. Is that what you do? You subscribe to YouTube? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try. I'm going to try to do a bunch of these. I've got a few hundred videos on YouTube. So thanks a lot here. Put the shadow down here. Put the shadow down here. This is awesome. Here's shade, shade, shade. Shade. And there it is. All right, guys. Well, thank you. Let's put our title for our, our drawing lesson. This is, I'm going to put the title down here in the corner. This is me, Mark Kistler. Woohoo, Mark Kistler's Mighty Mondays, Mighty Mondays, live, live, boom, and this is my Fine Arts Academy week number 37 of 41 weeks. We have a few more weeks left. Uh, I, I think I'm wrong on here because this is, I, have, I only have three more weeks left, so I, this must be week 38. Because I have three weeks left. I end these Mighty Mondays just for the summer. And I'll pick them back up again. This is supposed to be our 11 a.m. class. Ha, ha, ha. That didn't quite work out today. And what what's the date today? It's May 5th, 2021. Let's take a big, let's take a look at what we drew today. I enjoyed that. That was a fun lesson. Thank you guys for helping out. Help Mario save vacuums of America. Go to GoFundMe and type in. Help Mario save vacuums of America. Thank you. And uh, thanks for signing up for my summer art camps coming up here. Go to my website at markkister.com. Thanks for ordering my from my website, you, the new book. You can draw. It's not available on Amazon.com, you guys. It's uh, it's it's my self-published book. 
And thanks for uh, thanks for ordering your print of the PBS icons. That's awesome. I appreciate it. All helps the prints, all the prints, and all the purchases help me keep going, doing what I'm doing, and teaching the world to draw. Thanks, guys. Have a great day, everybody on Zoom. I'm gonna say goodbye to Zoom first. Bye, bye. Oh wait, wait, wait. You want to show me your drawings on Zoom? You guys, you guys on Zoom? Um, hold on a second. Let me say goodbye to Instagram and to Facebook and everything first. All right. Let me do that. Let me, let me disconnect these guys. So I'll say goodbye to uh, say goodbye to Facebook and to.